Good morning, everyone. I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. Um, picking up right where we left off from six. Nope, from five. In fact, it's even the same time. Uh, we had a bunch of weird dreams about Dagoth Ur. A bunch of people approached us and were like, hey, Dagoth Ur is a shit. Uh, you wanna help me out here, guys? Those guys are getting easier and easier to deal with, though, so that's good, at least. Uh, committed a bunch of crimes, because it's the quickest way to go about these things. Got a bunch of new armor. You know, a bunch of goodies. You know, I'm going to leave that corpse there for you. Here, discuss your orders. We need an Ashlander informant. Have I heard of a fellow in Aldrin named Hassaur Zain Subani, an Ashlander who came, who left the waste to become a wealthy trader? Say the Ashlanders like to give and receive presents. Take these hundred drakes, find out what he likes, get him a gift. Give him the gift, and we'll tell you about the Ashlanders and the Reverend Holt and report back to me. Um, so we're gonna stop the Fighters Guild and sell this shit. And then we're going to find out where Aldrun is. I got lost last episode because I was, like, it, it had slipped my mind that Suron... I think Suron, right? Uh... Yeah, Suron. I just read that it was northeast of Vivek. And I assumed that it was in Vivek, the northeast of it. What they should have said is the place with the strip. Because that would have made sure I would have fucking remembered where it was. Alright, let's Bart. Man, I'm eating good because of the Dark Brotherhood, y'all. Did I? Oh, yeah. Uh, iron Oh, my God. He can't afford it all. Uh, I'll take this back. There we go. Looking pretty sus there, my man. Paying for training is a thing that I do more in this game than any other game, I think. Uh, I thought so. How close am I? Oh, I'm so close. Dirt, 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 dirt. Everywhere, dirt. Jesus, woman. All right, let's figure out where old runs. There, Ghost Gate, Suron. Aldrun, come on. Oh yeah, thanks to my crime spree, uh, I did swipe an ebony bracer, which means that I am now wearing a piece of ebony armor. Ebony is the second toughest set of armor, type of armor in the game. Um, and I also got some bone mold because I like how it looks. I think it looks cool. Look at that shit. That's dope. And then I've combined it with all these other things that I'm wearing. I'm like a kid in anime convention, you know? I don't know what I'm cosplaying. Uh, let me see here. Can you buy this option? What about this? Fuck. Yes? Dark is free. What do you want? You have my attention. 
But yeah, so I couldn't get to sleep last night, which means that we've just rolled over into the next morning and I haven't been asleep all night. We make a special trip just for you. Same low pride. Oh, can you actually get me to... You can. All right, so you can see that by Ashlander, they mean... Yeah, it's ashy. This is interesting. So the way that they uh, get Silt Striders to go is that they dig a piece out of their back and you sit in here and that's a little carpet they've got in there. And then they mush on the nervous system with those little uh, acupuncture needles. So yeah, Ashlands. Rarely do I come out here. Um, I usually do so in the progress of, like, I guess just the main quest. I was here, like, I want to say once during my Morrowind tour video, uh, passing through Aldrin. And yes, as I'm doing more and more of these walks, I'm like, I'm, I'm getting more and more annihilated. Alright, pleased to meet you. I'm Valena Liru. Knight, welcome to Aldrun. What can I do for you? Why are you here? Why are you here? Shut up. Do I know you? Oh, hey, man. Good day, Glenny Pitchblend. Can I help you find your way? Uh, yes. All six Red Urn Conciliators uh, live in the Manor District. The Steward of the Mages Guild. I don't think any of these people... Wealth are. beyond measure, Outlander. These people are almost never who I need. What do you know about Degoth Ur? He's the... Okay, same one, same one. You may speak. What is it, Sarah? It has no master. <laughs> right, I forgot that sleeping in someone's bed is actually a full-on crime. He'll be downstairs reading or in the back room below the bar. Alright. Downstairs reading. Outland, what do you want? Wealth beyond Please measure. Please have a look around. Athletics. Athletics go up. So yeah, um, I I've come completely From fresh you off here? of. You shouldn't be here. Wealth beyond Hello. measure. I'm Hasor Zinsubani. May you be, may you bless and be blessed. I don't wish to be rude, but if you have business, speak it. For I'm at leisure, and would prefer to be alone. With my thoughts. Uh, you wish to learn of Ashlanders from me. What is it that you wish to learn? What are their customs? A curious question. Gift is a sign of courtesy among strangers and affection among friends. Among strangers, a thoughtful gift is a sign you are cautious and considerate and aware of the other's wants and needs. Such is particularly useful for traders and travelers, and among friends, it's a private thing, settled with great risks. For the test of the gift is how well it is tailored to the receiver. Yes. A gift that shows you have taken the care to learn something of a receiver. For example, I love poetry. No stranger could be expected to know this, but a book of poetry given to me by a stranger shows the giver respects me and has made a special effort to know and please me. But now I have answered your question and would like some time to myself. If you will excuse me, goodbye. The blue plates are nice, but the brown ones seem to last longer. 
All right. Perhaps, uh, yada, yada, yada. Fortunately, perhaps by courtesy or design, he has mentioned he loves poetry. Then a book of poetry would be a perfect gift. Perhaps a bookseller, merchant, or pawn shop nearby. That's him, that's him over there. You're just talking to him. All right. What do you want? So yeah, the town I spent a lot of time in last episode is notorious because there's a what lot of Alphanda? dope gear, like, secreted here and there in it. In Raylon's house. Dark Tower 2. Okay, so let's, just, let's explore more down the main thoroughfare, I guess. Uh, Temple Services, Fort Buckmoth, south of town, uh, Fighter and Mage's Guild near the south gate, Underscore. What is it, Sarah? I wanted to tell you what Scar is. Scar is the shell of the Emperor Crab Outlander. Isn't that the dopest? Giant super crabs lived long ago. Will you buy these pants off of me, perchance? Alright. Hiding arrows, clubs, tattoos. Net helm. Regular old stuff. We're finally starting to get to a point where, um... Let's do some business, shall we? You put it on away again. Uh, we're starting to get to a point where, um... I'm gonna start having better gear than the average shopkeep. Actually, do you have... Do you have any other books? Nothing. Nice. Should've read that first. We're stuck. Lots of common clothes. Outlander, what do you want? Just regular old clothes. At some point, I'm going to read every book in Morrowind. I'll put it up in, like, audiobook format under the, um... God, that's so cool. Your armor, I mean. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, well known for their love of chitin. Kitan gear, kitan other things. Uh, here they've just hollowed out a giant fucking crab. Look at that. Isn't that so neat? I love this. You don't get this in oblivion. I'll tell you that for free. Let's look at the Morag Tongue. Let's say hey. Because we're having a problem with the Dark Brotherhood, man. Brings you to the Morag Tongue. If you wish to join us, you gotta still go speak to the Guildmaster. I still have yet to do that, although speak I have me. interest in joining the Tongue. So cool. So imaginative. Can we hurry this up? They look like they have like white guy arms in there. Is 
So yeah, giant emperor crabs used to row Morrowind. What do you want? Ancient Dunmer Can took those, hollowed them out, made you? homes out of them. What do you want? Isn't that dope? And if Dunmer ever had to like go to war en masse, they would actually use necromancy and revive the crabs enough to get them Can going. Can we hurry this up? What do you want? What is it, Outlander? Day 23. Wow. 23 in-game days. I guess every episode has been longer than seven hours. <laughs> okay, I didn't think it would be a particularly bad fall, but I wanted to make sure. I just about my trade. Enchanting. Oh yeah, so we can actually put things in here and enchant them ourselves. We have no souls, however. Uh, or no, f we have a lot of soul gems, but nothing full. Alright, one moment. Hey, so I went looking around in town and then I got distracted. Wandered into here, where I actually can't go anywhere because it's all locked off, but that's okay. So something funny, our Mark here actually owns all of the books that you can get him that quantify a, like, poetry book. Um, he already owns all of them. But he'll still accept the gift because that's the polite thing to do. However, this means something. Because he will accept books he already owns, that means you can steal his poetry books and then gift it back to him for free. Of course, gotta be sneaky. And I'm not particularly sneaky. The heavy armor really isn't helping. Like, I'll be honest. The main reason that I'm not being hunted by guards as we speak is because I'm, like, aware of how to abuse the game. Rat in the pot. What an appetizing name. What can she do for you? I really don't have time for this, so make it... Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. Is this because I killed someone who was in the Thieves Guild earlier? It has no master. Whatever. Ooh, those are all good. And she's got thievery stuff. Yes. I'm in a Wealth thief beyond den. measure out that time. I'm in a thief den. Yep. Alright, one moment. Alright, if I'm looking at this map correctly, I'm blind. Yep. Missed it. I just completely plum missed it. Ah well. One more, okay. What is this about? So from this uh Yes, I I'm suppose happy. I could spare a moment. Shaboodles, there we go. Do I know you? So it is possible that we can also just steal out of here. Hey, this guy. He likes poetry. I have a few volumes here. Words of the Wind, Ashland Hymns, The Five Far Stars. Yeah, there's somewhere. So, let's find some of those, huh?
Jeez, man. Scalping me here. Friend? God, my eyes starting to twitch. Probably because I haven't slept in over 24 hours. Alright, now we just gotta find him again. Can we hurry this up? We can, in fact. I love how these look like the little... Who are the little guys from... They... Going Goings or whatever they're called? From Animal Crossing? They have a dumb... They have a really stupid name like Doolap or something. Oh, hey, while we're here, let's see if we can't join up, huh? Yes? Welcome to Old Ruined. I'm Badar... I'm Baradras. Baradras, Scout. Are you new? I don't believe we met. Uh, and he will train me. Because if we can get missions here as well. Here for orders? Uh, get a contract from the locals very a bit strange. A young boy in Armager has hired us to provide extra muscle to clean out a den of necromancers known as Voss. Go to Voss and meet with a boy in Armager. Help to clear the necromancers out of Voss. Voss is far to the north in the Gorad region. Mark it on your map. Journey's a long one. May be best to take a ship from Dagonfell to Talmora. Good luck to you. Tiding citizen. Okay, cool. So yeah, we can get, um... There's actually a full set of glass armor somewhere in this basement. Um... Built an airship. It'll take you to source time. May I help you? Hey, it's the Mage's Guild. Do you need something? I don't like the Mage's Guild as much as the Fighter's Guild, by any stretch of it. Alright. Sorry, just rechecking notes. I love bug parts, man. When I was a kid, I actually wanted to be an entomologist. A uh, studier of bugs, if you prefer. Bugologist. Buguloid studiman. Um, and I still think like Kytra and uh, well, what is this Kytra. about? Oh, Chitin, Elytra, other things are still cool. All right, it's a business. I believe I've answered your question about a thoughtful gift. This is a gift for me. I'm amazed. A copy of Words of the Wind, Words of the Blessed Mothers. I gratefully accept your gift. My people have never loved the written word, and I lament their ignorant scorn for such common yet potent magic. I thank you and honor your courtesy, Galena Pitchblend. Would honor me to return your courtesy by answering your questions. What would you wish to know about the Outlanders and the Nerevarine Hort? Uh, they worship the great Ashklan and the Hortator. Nerevar Morningstar, who in ages past destroyed the evil, godless dwarves and banished the treacherous Dagoth Ur and his foul host beneath the Red Mountain. Cult is of small consequence in Ashlander worship, and only the uh among those guys do its followers have influence. Other Ashlanders share the sentiments. Guard the Nereverine prophecies with suspicion and skepticism. For the prophecies retell of return of a reincarnated Nerevar, yada yada. Too much to tell. Take these notes. I've written here what you should know about the Ashlanders and the cult. Most of all, if you're visiting a camp, these are things you should know about courtesy and challenges among the Ashlanders. Since you ask about the cult, you'll be interested in my views on the Ashlanders and foreigners. Because of a gilding passion of the Nerevar cult is their hatred of... Because a guiding passion of the Nerevarine cult is their hatred of foreigners. Alright. 
Great, we're done now. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Give me some notes. These notes will satisfy the spy master. What is it, Outlander? But we can still talk to him and get more stuff. Because he's a cool guy, and we should. All right, world map. Caldera, Balmora, far south. Okay. So yeah, Elder Scrolls games don't exactly have like a uh, like formula, you know. But in in a lot of um, open world games of this manner, the main quest. Oops, bump my camera. The main quest typically takes you on a big you know journey through every single piece of the main world. So like in Skyrim, what's the main quest? You're in Helga and you go to Riverwood, and in Riverwood they try to go to Whiterun. And then from there, uh... Gotta go to the Greybeard, so you gotta go to that one area. Oh boy. Pardon me. Oof. Gotta go to the Greybeards, uh, which takes you back to Riverwood, which then takes you to Riften. Um, and you need an Elder Scroll, so you gotta go to Winterhold and talk to those guys. And then you need to organize a peace treaty in one of the worst quests in the entire game. So you gotta go to Solitude and, uh, Windhelm. The moons are so beautiful, man. Oh god. Every time I go to rest, I'm like, it'll be okay, right? It's like, yeah, he's dead, right? Because the health bar stayed for a little bit. Anyway, yeah, so then the main quest is like, okay, now go to Solitude and uh, to Windhelm. Um... And so, like, in Skyrim, the, a big part of it is just, like, the main quest is just guiding you around the world map, making sure that you see all the cool cities. Because, damn it, they made, the, they made the assets, they made the cities. You're going to look at them, motherfucker. Ah. I heard the music drop out. I was... I am missing my shirt. Where did that go? Well, I know what happened. Ha! Mall Ninja. Oh, and a rat, huh? Anyway, I think I know where that might have gone. I had the Dark Brotherhood chest piece stuck in my inventory, and somebody must have gotten confused about what chest piece I was trying to sell. Of course, that someone could have been me, but it also could have been the game. Not that Morrowind is known for its stability, but this is the Open MW version of it, uh, Open Morrowind. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a hack. It's a source port. It, uh, it's supposed to make loading mods easier. For me, it just makes it so I can run it windowed. Uh, it makes it so it runs a little better. Um, it runs easier on a modern computer. Uh, and it's a lot easier to record. OpenMW is why recording, uh, my tours of Morrowind, uh, that I did a couple months ago. Not a year yet. Um... So perhaps in direct response to how reviled those fucking things are. As of oblivion, the cliff racers are extinct. 
Uh, because one brave man killed them all and drove them to extinction. And that man is actually Jube, the guy who wakes us up in the, in the intro. Yeah, there were he 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 had such a big fan following for no reason. Cause like he's just the guy who wakes you up, but like given that he is literally the first character visible in one of Bethesda's most important games ever made. People often gave like oh, we're on the right road. Gave him more credit than one might think. Um, some people say it's because he looks cool, because he's, like, shirtless and he's got cool stars, cars. Am I missing a... Am I missing a gauntlet? Aperol. Oh my god, when I slept in the bed, some of my gear was stolen. So he took it. Crap. Oh, it's fine. I'm not supposed to have any gear yet. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, so what am I missing? I've got both pauldrons, I've got a shield, I've got my boots, I've got a helmet, I've got my pants, and I've got a left gauntlet. So all I'm missing is the chest and right gauntlet. Wait, right? Did I count that wrong? No, yeah, that's the case. Come on, come on. Alright, we're nearly upon Balmora. Totally missed Caldera in the uh, slip there. Oh, that was stupid. I'm gonna wash my sins in this river. Anyway, yeah, because uh, because he had such a big fandom for some reason, uh, Bethesda canonized Jube as a saint as of Oblivion, and the reason that he's a saint is for wiping out the Cliff Racers. Which is just such a, like, fan-influenced thing to do. Not that I hate it. Um, it. It's something where I look at it and I cannot see anything but the outside influence. Like, uh, th this is a unfavorable comparison, but in the Spider-Man comic, One More Day, Spider-Man makes a deal with the devil to break him and his wife up and to bring his aunt back from the dead. Um, however, there's an implausible amount of people who cannot help uh, Aunt May hold on to life for a couple minutes. Aunt May has outright mentions that she wants to die. Hey, what's up, man? Um, and the devil wants Peter and MJ's marriage, even though if their love is so pure, then how could they possibly choose his aunt over their marriage? But anyway, it's something where like it, it doesn't fit well enough in the story. And so it kind of takes me out of it. I'll read all this. It kind of takes me out of it, um, because I can't see anything but the in, the out of universe thing. It's like, people loved the Saint, people loved Jube, people had the cliff racers. Hey guys, what if the, what if, what if, what if, the dude you hate killed the thing, no wait, the dude you love killed the thing you hate. Wouldn't that, yeah, that's, yeah, that's great. Anyway, thanks for your report, but keep Zinsubani's notes on the Ashlanders, you may need them. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Urshulkuku camp to speak with Sulmatulu and Zibani Mesa. Before you go, maybe time to tell you what's going on. The Emperor and his advisors may think you have the appearance of meeting the conditions of the Reverend Prophecy. That's why you're pulled out of prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me, so you could satisfy the conditions of the Reverend Prophecy and become the Reverend. Here. This is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later, it'll explain everything. As you'll see, the Emperor and his counselor, counselors 
to say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions. Do you really satisfy the prophecy? Are you really the prophesized Nervine? At first I thought you we were just supposed to create a persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think. But I am sure of one thing. This isn't primitive superstition and we will treat it seriously as his majesty commands. So Zane Zubani says these guys are here and they're the heads of the Nervine cult. I'm sending you to speak with them. Tell me your story, have them test you against the Nervine prophecies. As for the heads of the cult, they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies. When you've spoken with him, report back to me. Here's cash for expensive. Get supplies at Fort Moonmouth. Alright. Near the Sea of Ghosts, north of the village of Mangar, on the northern coast of Vardenfell. The smartest way is to get a Selt Strider. They outright say. So you know what? I'll take I'll take I'll take care of guys. I'll get a cell trainer. Do I have something else there? Uh, Dagon fell. Yeah. That's kind of Dagon, as in the Lovecraftian super deity Dagon. Um. There's a villain who is like a big super devil called Merun's Dagon in Elder Scrolls. Um, that the similarities pretty much end there. They're both like elder gods and they're scary, but like Dagon is like a gross, weird fish guy who makes weird reverse mermaids. Merun's Dagon is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you supposed to be down here? Okay, this is a real thing. So in Morrowind... Actually, let me finish it. Uh, Marin's Dagon is just basically Satan. That's all. Uh, there's a thing in Morrowind where, where like to go? people's path that they walk is not exactly right. So normally you're supposed to like walk in a path and end up back where you started. But... This one is too long, this one is too long, this one is too short, and this one is too short. And so eventually what will happen is that everyone's path will start to pull them, I think, to the northeast. And eventually, um, if you have a game save of Morrowind running for long enough, like properly running, not waiting, um, everyone will end up in the sea. All right. Uh, Suron. Oh, shit. I should have taken Salt Strider. Where would you like to go? Um, let's go to... Let's go to Aldrin. It's cheap. Uh, hi, sir. Jesus. All right. And it's basically straight north from here. So, at time of recording, YouTube just changed a bunch of its policies, and it's really annoying. It hasn't, like, destroyed anything. It just bothersome to navigate again. YouTube was at a state where, like, I was like, yeah, this is pretty good, like, uh, ten to seven years ago. Here we go. And then they just keep making it worse and worse and worse. Hey, all right. You sense yourself more aware, more open to new ideas. You learned a lot, a lot more away. It's hard to believe how ignorant you were, but now you have so much more to learn. Uh, let's grab those. Uh, well, let's grab strength. Yeah, I'm gonna want to be able to carry things. Also, I am a heavily melee build. Just run 
shirtless. And that is something I do not know if I will be emulating in uh, the real world. So yeah, um, I think basically act one of the game is now done, but yeah, we fit the, oh man, this thing. So Dagoth Ur is making a problem, right? Oh shit. They got the orders making a problem with Red Mountain, right? He's in fact making a big problem. Oh yeah, I bought slash stole some more weapons. Oh, that was an old road. Come on. I guess I could technically uh, use this guy to just grind forever. Anyway, this is a corpus stalker, and he's got corpus weepings on him. Destroy corpse. Anyway, Dagoth Ore is making a big problem. It's emanating from the Red Mountain. So, here's what they're doing. That's the ghost fence. They just sealed up the whole mountain. They have this whole force field around it. In there are the bones of the ancestors. To try to help keep the world safe. Gave me a disease, you asshole. A uh, hell joint drops those stats that I just lovingly spent my time raising. Great, great. Um, I think I just saved. Jesus. Now, you might say, well. Aren't levitation spells really common? Can you just hop over the side of the ghost fence? Yeah, you can. That's why there's still a problem. Like, the doors are not 100% on the ghost fence. And what's more, as you can see, cliff racers nest right here. Which means that cliff racers just fly in inside the ghost fence, get the problem, which specifically in this case is um, a bioweapon. It's a virus that Dagothor created. That zombie we just fought, the Corpus Stalker, sufferer of Dagothor's special little Zambambo virus. So yeah, all these, all these just fly in there. Scavenge, fly out, and spread it all over Moral. Do the little rats that sneak through the way. Yeah, so the ghost fence is partially. It's supposed to be fueled by uh, the powers of Vivek and the Tribunal. Uh, however, because of the problems that Dagothor is causing, those powers are actually waning and they don't have the ability to keep it up all the way. So it's being fueled with the bones of the enemy. Since, you know, those are relics. Which, by the way, is what the term relic actually means. Um, like, technically speaking, relic literally just means the bones of a saint.
But yeah, Corpus, huh? Corpus is, um... That's the blight. That's the big super plague that day got the earth. In addition to weirding people with his brain powers and stuff, he's also doing so with like infecting them with viruses. His his attack on the world is like super super multiple. Like, he's got a cult of personality running. He himself is one of the badass motherfuckers in Morrowind. Um, in fact, one of the reasons that he's not is because, like, there are three other physical gods. And in one of the DLCs, um, the Daedric Prince of the Hunt, Hercene, shows up. And, you know, he's a, he's a problem but he's an entirely different one as well. You can see there that that was a diseased cliff racer. So yeah, ghost fence, super rad. But yeah, it's supposed to be a giant, like, bubble that entirely encompasses the entire world. Or the entire world. Oh, crap. But that's not really happening. And this here is uh, the delightful phenomenon known as an ash storm. Um, ash from the Red Mountain is spewed into the clouds. Because it's a volcano. I'm just taking shelter in here, don't mind me. Uh, ash spews into the clouds later. Just can't. Clouds can't handle it. They just barf all over the world. It's like rain, but worse. sources of hiking in this world. And yes, they are lost from the earth. The Kwama has a life cycle. Um, it is a... It is analogous to a eusocial insect, which is to say something like a termite or a honeybee there's a hive, there's, there's a queen, there's drones, there's warriors, there's warriors. You know, different flavors and varieties of ant and stuff. We are 
we're getting there. Yeah, the scrib is the, like, smallest form without being a larva, I think. And they're, they're fucking everywhere. Um, and they're one of the main places that you get chitin. Uh, and the reason that the chitin armor in Skyrim looks different is, I think, because there are no Kwama lines or Kwama at all on Solstice. And so the chitin there comes from different places. Um, so yeah, the uh, Skyrim... The Skyrim Chitin here uh, is just a different flavor of the same stuff. Um, I intend to let's play Skyrim, by the way. Um, this is, uh, I'm not sure when, though. Um, the prime time would kind of be this year, wouldn't it? Because, you know, one of the one of the times to do it is ten years after its release, and that's coming up in November. Um, but the thing is, twenty years after Morrowind's release, well, that's kind of why we're doing this. That's why we pick now, at least, because otherwise this might be going up closer to when it was actually recorded. Um, hey, the storm stopped. You can see the, the stars. Oh yeah, we're getting a big trailer. Oh yeah, bring him on. Lord knows, I don't see enough of these fucking things in my day to day life. The spear's kind of suck in this game. Um, but one of the things about spears is that their reach is for real. They can actually physically reach further. Oh, more edge, cool. Uh, spears actually do physically reach further than other weapons, which means that if you have a good spear build, you can worry much less about the razors. Anyway, um... Are you having trouble flying in all this ash, sir? Is that a problem for you? At least the feathers sell for decent money. Not good money, but decent. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Murdering cliff racers. So the acrobatic skill will actually affect how much fall damage you can take, or how far you can fall before you start taking damage. Oh god. Why do people make assets like that? You know? Why do people put rocks together in a way where it's like they could trap the player? I talked about this a little ago of like some people think that Bethesda games get so much better than that. Like, it's like this game is a great story. It's a shitty game game. I recently bought two copies of The Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, it was on sale for a single dollar at my local GameStop. And it recently went on sale for eight dollars on Steam, so I got two dollars. So I got two copies for nine dollars total. Um, I'm not sure why, uh, though in the timeline here, uh, Bethesda just got bought by Xbox, like that deal just got finalized. Oh. We missed it. Okay, cool. Let's go back. For God's sakes. So, I suspect that, like, Xbox is like, hey, you want this on sale? Boom. There it is. Um, 
and I'm interested in that. On, the, on account of it being a prequel, that means that all the characters that we see and love in this game are still alive, and in fact cannot die. Because they have to be alive so that they can die in this game. Or not, depending on player choice. But that's the thing with the prequel, it means you have to take away a lot more choices, because... It's gotta be there for the sequel. And the original. Oh, this place, yeah. <clears throat> Can I buy a vowel, please? Look at the, look at the name. Jeez. I'll take shelter in here. I'm sure this will be fine. That must be reflect. It procked on me. It worked. Wow. I didn't expect that to go so well. Sword. Torches are fine, but they don't provide that much light. They also force you to put away a shield, though. Oh, that was an abomination. Uh, pardon me, sir. I'm busy. The adults are talking, thank you. Now back to you. One of the annoying things about fighting mages is that it's pretty hard to get goodies off of them. Just punch my mic. Let's see about that, huh? Yeah, that was to be expected. Oh well. I was just kind of fucking around in here. I'm amazed I got this far. Um, I guess specking yourself for like doing a lot of like fight fighting and then doing that fight fight means you'll end up pretty tough. That's good. Because um, as I mentioned, normally I, I spec myself for uh, a bunch of different things. Oh. I love how this thing is like a weird, ungodly combination of a. Uh, Um, it's a combination of Triceratops and a Velociraptor. Oh, scamps. Been an eventful trip north. 
I skipped the trip to Aldrin, just went right there. Uh, yep. That felt weird. Right. We are nearly upon the camp. A Dramora is a lesser Daedra or demon. Um, that was what we encountered and fought there. I forgot about that. They do that. Which makes sense. If you don't see it in first person. Meanwhile, some people are like, yeah, man, whatever. You're on clean outlander. Get away from me. Go get cured or stay away. Uh, this is the can. Calm egg for me? These are tasty and not easy to get. Thank you. Speak, traveler. So yeah, we're sick. We don't have a potion of cure disease. Because I was like, yeah, these are useless. You're unclean. Get away from me. Go away, diseased creature. Um, where are we? Uh, Nibani Maesa? Your name is Maesa. Talk, Outlander. Speak with respect, and I'll listen. The Nervarine prophecies are not for Outlander. Why should Sul Matul and the other one speak to you about these things? Who are you that we should trust you? Offer a fight to the death. Well, let's try this. All that might be true. I'm sure you may think it's important, but it has nothing to do with us. You're not an unworthy opponent. I hear honor in your words encouraging her. I would regret killing you, but would regret even more should you kill me. Very well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you're looking for, I'm sure I don't know how to find it. <laughs> yeah. Go to their tent, Tom Zabba will send you. Go away, diseased creature. Sleep in someone else's bed? What are you crazy? Um, hmm. I hear it. You think you fulfilled the Nerevarine prophecies. You wish to be tested to see if you're the Nerevarine. No outlander may join the cult. If you are a clan friend and adopted member of the tribes, and perhaps. I have an initiation right in mind. If you pass this, I will adopt you as a clan friend of the Ashlanders and submit you to our wise woman who is skilled in oracles and mysteries who will test you. Undergo a harrowing. Go to the burial caverns and fetch me the bone biter bull. Who's my father. Uh, Sul Pool is my father and his spirit guards the bone mold longbow deep in the cavern. They're south southeast of the camp, the north facing door, a little hill halfway between the slopes of red. Go north of the camp to the water and turn east. A rock cairn. Turn and head straight south. Jesus Christ. It appears that they've hollowed out another big thug. Go away, diseased creature. See, I got fucking bit by a cliff racer and I don't have a potion to cure it, so I'm kind of stuck with it for the time being. Until we hit the...
should I know what that looks like? Ooh. Oh, that's a cairn. I know what that is. I mean, a, ca a cairn is, of course, just a little stack of rocks. But yeah, um, that's a cairn, I guess, so head straight south from there, and then... Most infuriatingly, the door is apparently north-facing. Uh, which means that we're gonna have to, like, keep turning around and looking on the butt side of the uh, cliffs. <sighs> Pardon me, still tired, as I mentioned. Going pretty hard, pretty far, pretty long. Uh, you're not gonna. F you're gonna fight. Both of you. There's a couple of these bipedal things, and I don't remember if they have the same. Yeah, they've got this weird, glowy, pustuly air sac down here. And then they have like a weird shell over it. They have these little dangly legs. They don't walk on them, they just, you know, stand. They float. <sighs> Beautiful blue skies of Morrowind, man. I'm not too off. That can't be it, right? South, southeast. So it should be like here. Nothing else. This will be useful as a landmark. Because uh, I might just cut the episode because all of these have been real, real long. I want to make sure I'm not wearing out anyone's patience. This looks too ramshackle. Burial caverns. Astral burial. Maybe this is the right place. Mummy. Assault and bone meal. Cool. Robin the dead. Ancient tradition. What's going on over here, Mr. Rat? Pizzazz! Sometimes I feel bad for those things. Oh! Skeleton. Iron club and iron shield. Crap. Worthless. Oh, he's an archer. Skeletal archer. Shard arrow. Cool. And he has a generic one. Oh, that's water I'm looking at. So what is this mysterious? Come on now. Thank you. Should use that skull texture, guys. Karma burial. Oh, 
iron spear. And he had a shield that he can't use. I'm not sure if I would be able to use my Balmora Jinx Sword to, you know, curse these guys with paralysis. I'm not really sure why you would be able to curse something that doesn't have muscles with paralysis. But then again, it's only through magic that these things that don't have muscles move at all. Oh, yeah. Is this like a puzzle? Is, is this like a platforming challenge? Be kind of annoying. Of course, I did it perfect the first time, so now I gotta suck it up. Yep. Shaboom. Dead adventure. Ooh, a war axe. That gauntlet. I think I needed that. A uh, chain coif. Nah, that looks ugly. Fur boots, fear cuirass. Sip of that, huh? Ah yes, blue filtered night. Wow, all those scrolls, though. Ain't nothing I love more than robbing dead people. Dad skeleton. Oh, he's just got magic arrows. My mistake. Got there. Iron spark cleaver. Neato. You taking that with me? Thank you very much. Oop, pardon me, sir. The, the arrows. How heavy are the arrows? Mmm, arrows are heavy. This is only one to four points of shock damage. This is three to five. And my axe skills aren't as like high. Uh, the Dwarven Sword's good, but I don't need it. Oh yeah, and I've got all this crap on my head. Get some of that out. Okay, cool. Now let's get back to it. Come on. 
silver staff. It's crap. Really appreciate the decision to put in-depth platforming in this serious uh, Western RPG. Sorry, I'm leaning forward awkwardly. Huh? There we go. You gotta like ramp it almost. Oh yeah, there's all those things I dropped. Is this the right cave, by the way? Hey, yeah, this is the right cave. I was just second guessing. So yeah, it's just the 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 big door on the outside is just called Astral Burial because there's a bunch of different burials inside. Um, this isn't how dirt works, by the way. I just want to make sure everyone's aware of that. Yeah, this is the right place. Kefka burial. Like the villain of Final Fantasy? Six? That's six, right? I gotta put another torch in my hand, dude. It's so friggin' dark, man. Water down there, huh? Can I get this torch out of my hand? <laughs> totally can. Nailed it. Oh, great. There's nothing. Why is this here? Is this where the skeletons pee? We got multiple skeletons. All the skeletal warriors. Of course, the Elder Scrolls tradition of a skeleton carrying nothing but shitty armor, shitty weapons, and some bones. Right, yeah. Another dead adventurer. Iron Shard Mace. Six. Good luck, Cauldron. Uh, let's... Let's ditch that one. It's weighing on your chest, son. Eh. It's alright. Oh, that's a lady. Imperial Steel is better than regular steel. Yes, it is. So as you can see, that's what hit me. I thought I stepped on a mine. Which is a thing, by the way. There are, you know, rooms and stuff that you can put on the ground. Stop shooting me, asshole. If I could hit you, you'd be in big trouble. Is that blood? Did I just see blood shoot out of a skeleton? Uh, I picked this up kind of by mistake, but it is lighter than what I've got. It's 4 versus 12. 29 versus 14. We'll make a choice later, but right now we can just hold them both. Nordic Claymore. 
So I want to say that the design of this sword comes back as the Blood Skull Blade in uh, the Dragonborn DLC for Skyrim. Not entirely sure, but hmm, that'd be a cool thing to do at least. A little dark corner over here. Over there. Here, dude? Really? You can't be serious. You tracked me all the way out to here. Who is who is informing you? Who is your informant? I want to look like a fashion disaster. I want to have, I want to, I want to have good mixing and matching, you know. I can't believe that shit, dude. He came all the way here to kill me. I mean, on the other hand, I guess it must have been easier because somebody sure killed all those skeletons for him. You know, if you think about it, your bones are basically always wet. Right. I'm never too, too fond of solutions of, like, puzzles. Where it's like, no, turn all the way around. I've always thought those are a little lame. Like, there's some Doom levels that have miserable level design. And sometimes it's because of things like that. Because it's like, alright, now that you got here, turn all the way around and go somewhere else. Head and short sword. What about you? Steel halberd. Uh, pardon me, sir. Now you! That's what's good. Another dead adventurer. Wooden staff of war. Dude, you came in here with a stick? A uh, gold. Titan shield. Nordic iron cuirass. Underappreciated Disney film. Yeah. Here, what if we just do this? Sphere. Man, I wish spears were better. Sacrilegious to use the head of a mummy as a as like a foothold to climb a thing. What about you? Can you help me out more? There's kind of nothing up there. 
Okay, this won't put the torch out. The water has to be on the ground for that to happen. Kakuna. Is it weird that it's called Kakuna? Because that only makes me think of the Pokemon. Uh, Juno Burial. Parts like this, you can really see why people have drawn out of their way to get the uh, always accurate attack mod. I don't have it for two reasons. One, because I want to do something very true to the nature of Morrowind itself, and to change Morrowind is to change, you know, what that is. And two, I couldn't figure out how to install it. Oh, my vision's going out. Oh, God. Power through it. Make the episode happen, man. See, it's it's the problem of... I have insomnia. I have very bad insomnia. So sometimes my body will be like, you have to go to sleep. But my brain will be like, it's not gonna happen. So my body will be like, all right, your eyes are going to stop working. Uh, pardon me, sir. I was looking at these boots. Where are you? Dick. Steel dag. Regular old steel dag. pain in the neck. Cruel flame arrows. As we get closer and closer, I'm gonna have to keep checking. Can I can you tell me where it is? Just the burial caverns. The generic ones. That, like, kind of scared me. Like, that's about as generically scary as you can get, you know? Like, boo, haunted house. <laughs> Alright, bone biter bowl of sensitive. Ectoplasm. Suppose that corpse. And hey, uh. That's... That's it, then. Got it. Nice. Uh, yep. Scan. See, so yeah, another thing in this game... I think I already mentioned this, but soul gems uh, specify the soul contained within them. Not just the... Um, Hello, dear. What's up? I am recording, but feel free to come in. Stray kittens, you say? Uh, why do you bring up stray kittens? Ooh. I do want to go see them. Love you. Alright, I guess we just plug along uh, back to base then. Gotta find my way out. Let's see if this works. Totally does. Right. Back to Karma Burial. And 
then yeah i just took a wrong turn in here and i was like i was second guessing because i didn't remember if there was astral burial is the first one I am trying to conserve my healing potions, which is why my health looks like that. Um, because I don't have like a lot, a lot of them. But I also want to beat this game with like a decent amount of time, so I'm also not like... hard is it to code your water so the player can get out of it? Like, they had to put a little safety ramp in there so I could walk out of the water instead of just making it so that when you bob up to the surface of water, you get out of it. Whatever. Something to keep in mind if you're making the game. And I intend to. Actually, um, one of the many RPG makers was recently on sale and I bought it for, like, eight bucks. A lot of good Steam sales recently. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright. Now we're just on our way back home. Uh, I guess I'll avoid using that, huh? See, when all your when all your points are in f hitting things with weapons, you really got to go out of your way to hit more things with weapons than you know someone normally would. And now I've got the ability to arch things. Yes. You will not resist me. see if I can't replace uh, that silver flame blade with a flame blade made of a more standard material. One of the things consistent across a few Elder Scrolls is that at some point you have far more enchanting skill and will do far more damage with a magical weapon than you could ever possibly do with a normal sword. So what is to be done? Well, let's try one of these, huh? There we go, Jesus. Anyway, yeah, so you have more, like, arrows. At some point you get enough enchanting levels to kill God. Um, in this and a few other games, that's uh, a literal fact, even. So what you actually do with that is, that means that you can put those enchantments on anything. And still, like, you know, be ready to kill with it. than reverie. I don't know if I should let you go around saying that shit. Man. Also, yes, in the same way that 
the protagonist of... I died. He's precious. You make it quick. Well, the protagonist of any game where you can name the protagonist, they still have to be named something. This game's protagonist is the Nereverine, because they claim to be so. Have you completed the rite? It's my father's bone biter bow. You've completed the initiation rite. I name you Glena Pitchblend, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear it with honor. You are a friend of our tribe, and you may rest in any bed of ours, but do not harm other tribe members or take their things. I will fulfill my promise. Go to the wise woman's yurt, and she shall examine you and test you against the prophecies. Do you have the big rug? Nope. There are many Nereverian prophecies, and they suggest many things. Aspects and uncertain parents. The moon and star. Sleeper, seven curses, the curse's bane. The prophecy of the stranger. Seven visions, the lost prophecies. Ask me of these things if you're patient and be wise. If you're impatient, do I pass the test? Go ahead, I'm the wise woman. You're not the Nereverine. You are one who may become the Nereverine. It is a puzzle and a hard one, but you have found some of the pieces and you may find more. Do you choose to be the Nereverine? Then seek the lost prophecies among the distant priests of the temple. Find the lost prophecies, bring them to me, and I will be your guide. Take these copies of the Stranger and the Seven Visions. I told you all I know. Think on what I've told you and what must be done. Uh, there are prophecies that have been lost. Seven curses and others. Some are forgotten, some hidden, some deliberately lost. The wise woman of their memory of the Velothi people. It is a faulty memory. And we are mortal. And our knowledge dies with us. But we hear that the dissident priests of the temple study our prophecies and record them in books. Such written words never die. You must go to them and ask for these books and bring what you find to me. All right. So yeah. Is there something you need? The nature of the prophecy is like, we're not necessarily the Nereverine. We're claiming to be, but that doesn't actually mean that we are. But what that means for us is... Maybe we will be. Who knows? But just so we're clear here, I am the Nereverine. Anyway. Uh, I've been Alfred. I'm gonna go have breakfast with my wife and then go look at some kittens. Um, I'll see you guys next time. This has been Morrowind. This has been IRL Morrowind, in fact. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for hanging out. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Later.